and welcome to episode 83 of One Man's Opinion, where I review professional theater across New York and Connecticut. Today I am reviewing Irieton Playhouse's production of Native Gardens by Karen Zacharias and directed by Brian J. Feehan, running through June 12th at the Playhouse at 103 Main Street, Irieton, Connecticut. Playing to the Robert Frost quote, good fences make good neighbors, which the show actually references, Native Gardens is an intermittently funny comedy about two couples who have a border dispute over their property line. It starts when Pablo, played by Jose Maria Aguila, and his pregnant wife Tanya, played by Blanca Grande, move into their fixer-upper home next to Frank, played by Joseph Delger, and Virginia, played by Stacia Fernandez. Initially, the two families share a cordial, if a bit awkward, first meeting and hopeful friendship. But when Pablo, who is a lawyer, fast-tracking toward a partnership at his firm, decides to host an impromptu barbecue for the firm, he and Tanya have to remodel their backyard quick, including replacing a shabby chain-link fence with a nicer wooden one between the two homes. But when they discover that the property line is off by two feet, and that the two feet would infringe on Frank's garden, which he hopes to win a neighborhood gardening competition with, things take a quick turn. I find Native Gardens to be a well-intentioned comedy, but much of the script gets too caught up in its moral arguments that the humor gets lost in the proselytizing of the characters. It never feels as funny as it should be. There's a preoccupation with having the characters debate about racism, white privilege, and other hot topic issues that it forgets to be funny in the process. There are plenty of elements in the story for it to be ripe with metaphor, and I think Zacharias never trusts herself enough to let it speak for itself, having to talk about social problems instead of letting the border dispute tell it naturally. There's enough present just in the concept of a baby boomer white couple feuding over a border with a millennial Latinx couple. The conflict should right itself. Instead, we get spelled out patronizing arguments about planting native gardens instead of invasive plants and squatters' rights, which drags the story. And frankly, the premise of conflict is absurd. It's hard sometimes when, as an audience member, you come up with a reasonable solution to the problem ten minutes in, and neither party considers it. Like, why don't they just build the fence where the originally perceived border is until Frank and Virginia either move away or die. It may be another 10 to 20 years, but they take care of the property and its value isn't going to be depreciated. They've taken good care of it, let them have it. When they leave or die, move the fence to the proper border. No one thinks of this and it hurts my brain. A resolution is eventually reached, but it's such a throwaway ending that it feels extremely forced because there didn't seem to be any resolution coming otherwise. And I would expect that any OBGYN in a theater would take issue with how things roll out in the end. Though the script is flummoxing, Daniel Nishin's scenic design is fantastic, with two multi-story homes filling the stage. It doesn't give much room for the two backyards, but it looks great, especially the difference in appearance between the established, clean, and polished brick home of Frank and Virginia versus the faded, peeling, wood-paneled home of Pablo and Tanya. The performance of the four cast members are overall good, if a bit cartoonish at times. Sometimes they play for the laugh a bit too hard, almost posing for a beat of laughter when they just need to be natural and let the comedy come organically. Still, there's a good message here in Native Gardens, several actually, about inherent prejudices between races, genders, and ages, as well as the modern and more conscientious attitude to the environment when it comes to people's gardens. I just wish the story trusted itself more. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you're interested in seeing Native Gardens, I'll leave a link in the description. You can support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Turn on the notifications to get alerts to future reviews. My next review will be Westport Country Playhouse's production of Straight White Men. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the theater.